Okay, I'm not sure how long that's gonna um, stay balanced though because, yeah. But anyway, I'm on my way into our shop to pick up a parcel from Urban Expressions. I figured I would do like an unboxing -y thing and it is beautiful out today, so I thought I'd take you with me. package so they've either sent me luggage or there's a couple of two tree bags in there so um, let's go home and open them back home now let's just open it and see what's in there I'll give you like some first impressions show you some details and close-ups and then um, maybe show you some like outfit ideas to wear with them but I um, don't know what's in here so let's find out it does say not to open it with anything sharp but there's so much tape that I don't really have another choice so I'm using my makeup spatula thing and just being careful Oh, uh, uh. <clears throat> um, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory about this. I have a few Urban Expressions bags already, and I've featured them in like what's in my bag or vegan bag videos because they're really, really great options. It amazing prices. Christy from Urban Expressions had contacted me and said that she had liked the videos I had made with their stuff and before and could she send a few things for me to kind of review and show you guys. A lot of the times when I get questions about vegan bags people are like yeah but is the quality good and it's kind of hard to explain so it's actually nice that you guys will get to see them in detail. Anyway and she sent an extra um, Quinn bag in grey to use as a giveaway so I haven't done a giveaway in a while but there you go we're gonna do one. Oh my gosh all right I'm gonna start um, I'm just gonna grab one okay so they come in these cute little dust bags <gasps> Ooh. this is so cute does it have the names on there this is the Quinn bag, so there's a grey one of these that I'll be giving away. These are beautiful. They're all obviously um, vegan or faux leather, and they're like so soft, and they don't look like they could possibly be fake, but they are. They do like really great fake leathers, and all of the hardware is super like hard wearing and nice, so let's dig in. So one of my um, pet peeves with bags and purses and stuff is when you find like a really nice bag and then the inside lining is just hideously like floral booger green or like something weird. But I love that they've kept it like very basic so I really like that and I love that it's actually a lighter color because it's easier to find things but it's still dark enough that when your lipsticks open themselves in your bag it's not going to be too obvious. It is a small bag, but the nice thing about it is that it opens the entire way out so you don't have to like peer in to try and find things. You can just see everything in there. 
The leather is really soft, but it's like structured enough that it is gonna keep its shape, I would imagine. And they package everything really well, so everything is nice and protected to be shipped. Yeah, this is beautiful. What a cute little size. So the strap that comes with it is really um, nice and long because that's like another thing that annoys me about bags is when they have a longer strap which is actually not very long at all so that's nice and then it kind of attaches diagonally across which is also good. So yeah, this is awesome. It kind of reminds me of some of the like Alexander Wang bags, it's just like that really nice kind of like pebbled fake leather. And I'll um, put prices and stuff either around here or in a blog post. So this is it. Next one. So I think this is actually the gray one of those that I'll be giving away. So what I'll probably do is find a picture of it online and use that so that this one will stay nice and packaged up for you. Gray Quinn. Yes. So this will be one of yours. So it looks like we have some wallets in there, but I'm just going to go for this big one. Um, this is the Black Odessa. Ooh, pretty. So this, um, like I said, is the Black Odessa. You've got that same um, kind of pebbled leather on the back part. The front is, I would guess, like fake python and then we there's also details of like um kind of almost like a roughed up more matte fake leather and again with like the nice gold um, hardware so again the inside is a kind of very light but plain pattern which is nice because i hate the floral stuff and you have another longer strap in here too it's obviously super um deep and there's tons of space inside and then you have a back zip pocket and two front kind of like cell phone or accessory pouches you've got the top handles two kind of open pouches in the front so you could just like chuck your phone or whatever in there and a zip pocket on the back too and then again you've got a nice long strap I really like this one. I love that they've taken um, like different faux leathers because I think that really showcases like how great their options are because a lot of the time fake leathers are very obvious, especially if they're like patterned ones like pebble or something like that. It's so kind of uniform that it's really obviously fake. Um, but this is all so soft. You can tell it's super well made. They're just great, great, great bags and I'm excited to add some more to my collection. So thank you, Christy. I love that. It kind of reminds me of, I think, maybe YSL had a similar kind of shape bag to this with like similar hardware, but I don't think it closed the whole way. So yeah, this is a great option. And it, it's weighty enough that you can tell it's going to last, but it's not like super duper heavy without anything in it already. So, yeah, it's... And... This is a grey Sheena. And again, they all come in nice little dust cases, which is always good. Ooh. So it's actually a similar um, bag to this, which originally made me fall in love with Urban Expressions, which is just a bigger version. I have this in black and white. Um, the black one I've had for probably seven or eight years now, and it's still incredible. So I got the white one, uh, uh, again, probably like four or five years back now. And they're so um, well made and long lasting. Anyway, back to this one. So this is the Sheena. I love that color. Um, I love that you get a really long chain. The strap doesn't feel like it would be super uncomfortable because some of them are almost so fine that they like hurt your shoulder, but obviously you can't fit a ton in here anyway, so you shouldn't be too weighted down. And then you have like a square um, like lock detail here. And then again, just a really simple lining, which isn't obnoxious. I feel like this is one of those bags that you think you couldn't fit much in, but you actually really could. So I love these kind of um, purses because I think you can wear them with very, very basic outfits and it just adds a little bit of like classic glam. Or obviously you dress it up, you could wear it with like a super like businessy outfit. You could wear it with a like sassy going out outfit. And yeah, I just think that's a really great style of purse. I think they're killing it with that. If you wanted to make the chain shorter, I almost think that you could kind of clip it onto itself in there, but I'll give that a go later and see. Yeah, again, super um, structured. I think this is gonna be really long lasting as well. And the detail is just beautiful. So yeah, there is that one. And again, this is the Sheena in gray. 
It's almost like a dove grey. And then lastly are what I'm assuming are kind of like wallets or purses if you're in the UK. So this is the Dove Grey Christina with a K and some Ys. And I will put a kind of written, more comprehensive review along with this because I tend to get excited and maybe miss things out. So it is beautiful. So again, it's like the kind of pebbled um, faux leather. All of the zips and hardware are really um, strong and don't like catch or anything, which is good. Okay, so one of the things I love about this is the inside looks just as good as the outside. Um, a lot of the time with wallets and purses and stuff, they kind of like make sure the outside looks nice and then the inside is just super duper basic, but they have that pebbled leather inside too. So you have eight credit card slots, two slots here, obviously these open ones, and then a zip compartment in the middle. And then on the back, there's another little zip compartment there too. So that is gorgeous. Something like this, I almost think I could probably fit my phone in too if I wanted to. Yes, which is awesome. I actually have the 6 Plus, so um, if you have a phone smaller than that, you're going to be good. And I love um, kind of wallets that you can fit your phone in because if you just want to like grab your wallet and run into the store real quick, you can just slide your phone in there and you don't have to have like three different things in your hands. So yeah, I love that one. And again, that is the Christina in Dove Grey. Okay, and then lastly, this is the Black Trenton. And this is actually one I had seen online that I thought was just like incredible looking. Oh. And this looks like it must be designer. Like it's so well made and the style is so nice. So again, it's the same thing. You have the same leather repeated on the inside. And just to clarify, when I say leather, I don't mean cow leather, I mean faux leather. So yeah, it's the same inside as the other one. And then you have this kind of like stiff gold rim around it, which I think is beautiful. And again, I like wallets um, this kind of size because, you know, like when we're flying and traveling, you can fit your passport in there, you can fit tons of different stuff in there. So it's nice to be able to just like have this out of your carry-on rather than a ton of things in your hands. Yeah, wow, this is beautiful. And again, the zips are great. They're like chunky-ish, but not super obnoxious, but they're thick enough that you can tell they're gonna last. So again, this is the Trenton in black. That is it. So I will show you maybe a few different ideas to of outfits to go with the bags. Again, you can win the Quinn bag in grey, which was that first bag. And I don't want to open this one just because I want to ship it to you nicely, so I will put a image from online so you can see what this one looks like. I have to think on the spot of how we're going to do this, this giveaway. So I'm going to say you can enter on YouTube or Instagram. So to enter via YouTube, Check out the Urban Expressions website, which will be linked below and also around here somewhere. And um, let me know what your favorite bag is. If anything, it's just a nice way for us all to kind of window shop together. So um, comment below with what your favorite Urban Expressions bag is. And if you want to enter on Instagram, I will post a graphic on there that you can reblog with a um, hashtag. Let's do wife life urban. Yeah, I'll probably leave this giveaway open for a week or so, but I will contact the winner directly just because sometimes really like shady people will try and contact giveaway owners and claim that they're the winner even though they're not. So I always keep it kind of quiet and tell the winner and then they will post an image once they've received it so you guys can see that they actually did win it. Yeah. I hope you liked this. Um, let me know what you think of these kind of videos because obviously these things were sent to me but I know they're a company I already love so I just think it's a nice way that I can show you what these different brands that are putting an effort into making vegan options are coming out with. So yes, thank you so much Urban Expressions. I am obsessed with everything, like it's all like completely my style. So yeah, um, enter the giveaway. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
let's not pretend that I'm going to try and keep this tidy. Let's get real. Hey. 